Hello everyone and welcome back to Hobby Doc Bay. This is Sunday again and time for another Bible study. So now we are on week 12. Feed on His Faithfulness. What you have behind is not what is engraved in stone monuments, but what is woven into the lives of others. And this word here, I don't know how to pronounce it. It is spelled P-E-R-I-C-L-E-S. I don't know if that's like the person that said that saying or what. But anyway, our overview. Psalms 37 is an alphabetic psalm. Acrostic, in parentheses, if I'm saying, no, acrostic. It's A-C-R-O-S-T-I-C, in parentheses. Sorry, y'all, I can't pronounce some of these words. Where each pair of lines begins with successive letters of the Hebrew alphabet. The psalm is written to men unlike most of the psalms which are written to God. In this particular psalm, David contrasts the lifestyle of the unbeliever the wicked, with those who are righteous in Christ and are forgiven. He reminds us that it may seem like the wicked always prosper and always progress, but in the end, it is the righteous who the Lord blesses and advances. The lost man is often deceived into believing he can be successful without a relationship with God. This, however, is a deadly falsehood, for it is the upright who will prosper in the days of famine. Verse 19. Okay. Memory verse, chapter 23. No, verse 23. Sorry, memory verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. I don't pay no mind to my phone. It's text coming in. All right, Psalms chapter 37. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord, and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger, and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotteth against the just, the, I never can say this word, because it just, it confuses me, because it starts with a G, but it's like that G is silent, and you say gnasheth, and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword, and have bent their back their bow, to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as be of upright conversation. 
their sh their sword shall enter into their own heart, and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth, upholdeth the righteous. Sorry, y'all, I can't talk. But the Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume, and to smoke shall they consume away. The wicked borroweth, and payeth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now am old, Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful, and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil, and do good, and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the Lord, and dwell therein forever. <laughs> the mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart, none of his steps shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous, and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand. nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power, and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and, lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together, the end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord, he is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them, he shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Okay, then we have the confession. I will trust in the Lord and do good. I will delight myself in the Lord, and he will give me the desires of my heart. I will commit my way to the Lord, and I will trust him. I will rest in the Lord and wait patiently on him. I will not worry when I see others prosper. I will continue to walk with the Lord knowing that he knowing that he will lift me up i will keep the lord's ways and he will exalt me to inherit the land he is my strength in the time of trouble <coughs> and then of course you have your thoughts in sight what is the lord saying to me to me and the blanks to fill in and the monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday but, uh, to mark as you read it <laughs> All right, y'all, that's it. That's our Bible study for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. That's all I have for you this time. So, I'm out of here until next time. I'm done. I'm going to the loo.